back to painting and decorating. Um, Merry Christmas. Hope you've had a good time. Looking forward to the uh, New Year's Eve parties and the New Year. Now, I've been sat in the office and I was looking at the desk and I thought, you know, I need a new desk. But then I thought, well, I don't want to waste stuff. So I thought I'll paint it. I'll do a video on how to paint it. Right, so I got given this desk. I mean, uh, off a job. So it's looking about 30 year old desk. Um, it's laminated. So what I'm going to do is take it apart. It's very easy to take apart. And I'll show you the process of how to paint it, what paints I'm going to use, um, the finish and what colour it's going to go. Um, and how to tint your primers. So I'll take it apart first of all. What I'll do is I'll just show you the top half um, because basically the process is the same for every panel and then you just got to put it back together. First job is to degrease the board, wash it down, no need to sand it because it's quite smooth and the paint I'm using sticks to any surface. <clears throat> so there's a few different degreasers on the market. One that I use is the uh, Zinsa. It's a good one that degreaser, cleaner before you're painting. <clears throat> White Spirit is another one that will remove grease. Um, when you're using any of these products, always wear gloves, open a window, well, ven well ventilated areas. Methylated spirits will remove grease and prepare a surface for painting. Um, but it's quite aggressive on the surface as well. Um, it will work up the paint. And obviously one of my favourites, furry liquid <coughs> for washing down. Usually when I'm washing a surface, I will wash it over first with warm soapy water because some of the stains or the marks will be water based and they come off a lot better with uh, warm soapy water. And the others will be more grease um, and that's when you need your degreaser to get rid of them. So first off with this, warm soapy water and a scouring pad and I'm going to give it a go, go over. You don't want to use loads of water with this um, because you might make it start to delaminate. <clears throat> so be very careful how much water you put on. Just enough. Now that's not too bad, but I can still see coffee marks on it and things like that. So what I'm going to do is use some of this. 
I'm gonna, I'm, what you do is you spray it over and you leave it briefly so it penetrates the grease and then you wipe it off and then wash it down again. So I'm going to leave that now. Once that's had a soak, you can wipe it off. And I can see all them coffee marks have gone. Works really well, that does. off again so I'm going to leave that to dry off and then I'm going to give it a coat of Zinsa Bin Primer. So it's all washed down and I'm ready to start priming. Now, I've decided actually to have it grey, um, a pale grey. Now, what I'm going to do is tint the primer um, and the top coat. So, now this Bin Primer, it's really thin. It takes a bit of getting used to using it. I keep my brushes <coughs> in this tub. I top it up now and then with methylated spirits. Now, all I need is that brush for the minute. I've already stirred this up, but they need a really good stir up. There's a lot of sediment that sits on the bottom. Wipe that lid round. Stir up because this is a type of paint that you have to stir it when you're using it because the sediment just drops out quite fast. Now, I've got an old tin and I use this to work out of most of the time because what I'll do is I pour some in. Now, I'm going to mix enough for what I need. Hopefully that'll do. Dries that quick, this stuff, you've got to cover everything up and put the lids on. Right, now then. Now what I've got here is some artist colour. This is black. Because like I say, I'm going grey. So really, all I need to do is add black to this. Now, you never want to put too much in first off. Always just a little bit. That should do. Make sure that you work that in. See how much that little bit does first of all.
And I'll keep adding it until you get the right colour you want. A little bit at a time. That's grey enough for what I want now, because like I say, it's only going uh, pale grey. So, in here, I also keep this roller sleeve. Now, this is one that you usually use for emulsion. Um, I don't use the sponge rollers for bin primer this stuff because the methylated spirits actually corrodes um, the, the other ones the poly the um, synthetic ones these work a lot better I've had that in there for a couple of years and it's okay so just put that onto there now because this is an old tin what I'm gonna do strain it before I start using it and what we use to strain paint are stockings just buy yourself some stockings sometimes you have to tape it with this, it's not too bad at all. Alright, let that drain into there. Like I was saying, this bin primer is not easy stuff to use at all. It dries, I mean, to recoat in 30 minutes. It dries literally as you're using it. Um, so you've got to be careful. Now, you don't want to start right near the edge and let all the paint flood over the edge. You know, start away from the edge and then work your paint towards the edges. If any is running round, you might have to wipe it with a cloth, especially on the underneath edge. Um, like I say, this stuff, you've got to nicely spread it out. And as soon as it starts drying, you can't go back over that area. You're better just leaving it. Now, I'm not sure that camera angle is the best. don't want is tram lines, any thick edges. Like I say, don't be going over the areas too much. Notice I'm using no brush on this. Now when you come back to another edge, you don't want to be going too far over it. Just work slowly into it. Any primer, especially going over a dark colour, always looks like a patchwork quilt when you finish. You, the opacity of it, you're never going to get it first time. I mean, you could spray these, no problem, if you've got a spray. You could even use a brush. Uh, either way, the roller I think on this needs a better finish.
I'm actually rolling with my left hand here. Usually I'd use my right, but where the camera is, I just thought uh, this angle is better. But as a painter, you need to use both your hands. Kind of ambidextrous, really. Don't go back over it. That's the worst thing you can do. Once it's on, feed it. Give you a quick look over that. I like to say, it always looks like a patchwork quilt primers. You can always see where you've been. Um, that's okay, that the first coat. Well, I'm only going to give it one coat of primer, that's all it needs. And then it's getting two coats of its uh, top coat, which is, I'm using the Zinsa All Coat uh, Gloss on this. Because I've got some white and I'm going to mix again some black in it and use that because it's tough stuff. You can actually see the, the difference between the colour. Yeah, it is grey. Um, like I say, difficult, difficult stuff to use. It dries so fast. It's unbelievable. Let's just uh, see if I can show you a bit. I mean, it's literally just a matter of getting it spread out. And then as you're spreading it out, you're literally trying to lay it off at the same time because it dries that quick that you can't go back over it really once you've done a bit don't go back over it not easy and make sure your edges are not fat not easy Let's move on to the next section. I mean, I'm doing this with a camera in my hand, left handed. So. get the idea of how fast you've got to be and you just leave it because if I touch that now it just to make an absolute mess that's already drying off it dries that quickly 
once the bin primer has dried off. I'm going to give it a light sand over with this sponge pad. Just to denib it. And then dust it off. And then we're ready to put the uh, first coat of my finished paint on. So for this water-based paint that I'm going to use, um, this Zincerol coat, it dries really quick. So I'm not going to use the other type of roller sleeve. I'm going to use these um, sponge rollers. These ones I got from B&Q. Um, they're called Vitro. Now, your Gilux Center, uh, Crown Center, your Decorating Center, we sell these. Make sure you work your roller into your paint. Now, I suggest if you're not confident with mixing paints or anything like that, I mean, sometimes it can go wrong. Uh, recently, on one of my videos, I mixed two paints and it did go wrong, but generally, you don't have problems. Um, but, like I say, if you're not confident, Zinsa will mix yeah, any colour in this product. It's, it's really good. So work your brush in, uh, your roller in. And again, it's a bit like the BIM primer. You've got to be quick and work in patches and try not leave any streaks or you know lumps of paint. It's all got to be even. Again, you've got to work quite quick. Taking into account, you're going to be putting two coats on. Now, it's all about the pressure with this. It's just like a brush, really. Too much pressure, you're going to end up with loads of lines in it. Now, again, on this coat, it's not going to cover fully. I'm going to have to give it a second coat. So you can see what happens. If I put too much pressure on, there's loads of lines. Just bring the pressure off. It's a lot more even. And again, I'm doing this with my left hand. doesn't dry as fast as the bin primer, thankfully. You're always after trying to get an even coat of paint on rather than trying to get it to cover because that's two different matters that the opacity comes with how many coats you actually put on sometimes depending on the background colour you're starting off with. Which can be a pain at times. Especially sharp edges. And you just don't want to be leaving any thick edges if the roller creates one 
and be watching out for it and make sure it's not left in because when it dries it just it'll dry in a lump literally Okay, that's not bad for the first coat of that first that paint. Yeah, have a quick look over that. It's a lot more even than the other one. Not like a patchwork. So that's had two coats from black. Um, that's looking good. So I'm going to allow that to dry. Denib it again. Another coat. That's it, it's finished. So you'll see this now uh, when it's back together. All finished. And you can definitely tell it's grey because uh, of my white. I didn't want it too grey. Um, and I think that's just right. I didn't want it white because I don't know what white's like, it just um, goes yellow really quick, to be honest. Even with water based paints. Um, they tend to do still yellow. I've noticed that. Um, but yeah, I really like that. So I'll give you a quick look over the top. And that's it. My hands there for a bit of focus. Yeah, it's done really well. And you can still see the grain in it. That's a sign of a good painter that can get a good finish like that. 